Hello everybody, welcome again. This, vid this series of videos, I will actually remake the chat application using WPF desktop application. But most importantly, I'll be using a WCF, which is Windows Communication Foundation, TCP IP duplex binding. So this will actually facilitate um, a two-way communication channel as in the sense that obviously we will have a server that would provide the services which in this case will be our messaging services and the, the actually and um, the desktop client so both the, uh, I mean the, the, the server or the services can send both a request and a response to the to the connected client as in the case that messages will be able to forward it, to be forwarded to the the nominated client so it is not very complicated but like i always say i will try to make it as simple as possible i'll break it them down into projects emphasizing on what we're supposed to do for each project so rather than talking too much I will just bang on but hey if you haven't subscribed to the channel just hit the damn subscribe button and let's get this thing running so we will start obviously by adding some projects first we add a new project and this will obviously be of class library standard dot net framework class library so we're just gonna call it chat app dot um contracts we just make a contract just like this but as i said i was going to run an example so just before we all this this start up i will run the example what we actually trying to do so just stay tuned, I'm just running it now. So we get a couple of um, desktop application pops, pop up everywhere in there. So this console application will be our server, our hosting our service, our WCF duplex services. So we have, we actually have um, a couple of um, desktop application also open, but um, what we do is we're just going to use two as in we're just going to be sending a message between two clients so we're just going to use this to just these two clients so the first one we call him peter we just use a peter as a username so as you can see up there we've got the services the service started so as you can see peter just connected so this one we call um, him Paul. So as you can see, Paul just connected. So here, Paul will talk to Peter, and Peter will talk to Paul. So as you can see, it's, it's very simple. So we say, hi, Paul. So as you can see, the, me uh, the messages it passed through the services and the, the, I mean the services forwarded it to the um, to Paul so we can also say hello Peter we send it and uh, Peter receives it so as you can see it's, a, it's, a, it's very simple stuff so I'm just gonna stop all of this and we are just gonna build the whole thing from scratch so hold it tight and let's get this bee running so i'm just gonna stop everything here now so we're just gonna as you can see we've got our first bit created we're just gonna remove this so the next bit of course we're just gonna add um a folder we're just gonna call it a domain and inside the domain we will add um, a new class
and we're going to call this class user. So as you can see, it's, it's nothing fanciful here. So we, we make it, of course, a public cl class, and we add these properties. So it's a property, and this is a string, and it will be a user ID. Ooh. User ID, but we change this bit here. So prop, the next bit of course will be also a name. Next bit of course will be a daytime. And this will be time created. Time created. So we ha add one more bit here. This will be an observable observable collection of message is a class we're going to create in a bit and we can say user messages and of course it's a get setter so we create a new class call it message so here we're just gonna move it to message.cs which I like to, m to do so it's inside our message.cs now so we add some properties inside our message.cs first bit of course will be our daytime so we say time sent the next bit of course will be a string and will be the from user ID. The next bit, of course, will be also a string, and we say a to user ID. And the next bit, of course, will be also a string, and we say say message sent so as you can see it's a, it's a pretty simple stuff so uh, with that with this part so the next bit of course is we're going to add a new folder and we call it um, um, contract we're just gonna call it contract so we add so that would be our service contract so we add a new item this will be an interface so we're going to add an interface. Just going to write an interface here. So that, that's what we need. So we're going to make it um, iMessage service. So here we're going to make this bit here a public interface and we we'll add um, an attribute here and this will be service contract. So we try to look for it here and it will be, I'm just going to do something here. It's inside a component model. This, um, so I'm just gonna um, system dot service model. So I'm just gonna copy and paste using system dot service model here and see if I'll be able to resolve it from here. So I'm just gonna um, resolve it. I will just resolve it here by making service host a variable so I'll just look for service host just gonna go here 
Okay, so I'm just gonna remove this bit here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add reference from here now. So we come inside assemblies. So we're gonna look for system.servicemodel. System.service, this bit here. So we're just gonna add it to the project. And this part should go away now, just wait. So if you've done the same, you'll see that that bit is gone. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna leave it from here and continue straight on the part two. So I just make the videos nice and brief. So yeah, as I say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do subscribe to the channel and then we just bang on straight from the next part. Bye-bye.